What's up, y'all? Alejandro here. Welcome to our channel. Um, yeah, we haven't made a video in a really long time. Uh, I've been finishing up grad school. Uh, super stoked. Got my master's uh, in school counseling, in case you're wondering. Uh, we just thought this would be a great way to come back and uh, we want to make some more videos uh, this summer, some more of our weekend adventures. And so here I'm going to go through a rundown of our, of our frontier. We'll start back vehicle to the front. So we got this shell, ARE, uh, frontier specific, so sometimes they can be hard to find. We put a different tailgate cap on. It's uh, more flush. Originally it had this whale tail and, and that, that just blocked this, uh, this hatch. So we found this on Amazon. It was like 35, 40 bucks. Super easy. We have a video about that. Then Kathy, my wife, installed a sweet lowering strut. Funny story. So it comes in a pair. We only installed one because <laughs> yours truly stripped the bolt on that side. <laughs> it's going to happen when you're doing your own project. Uh, my favorite thing back here is this mountain hatch. Um, what do you call this? Uh, tailgate board. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what it's called. Anyway, uh, originally it has that like bumpy one and pretty uncomfortable to sit on. This one's nice and flat, comfortable to sit on. It's got these little cup holders made in the USA. Love it. Um, super durable. Can use it as a, a cutting board. We don't because it's just dirty uh, a lot of the time. A lot of dust gets in here when we off road but love it. Just really nice and sleek. Right here is a drawer, super stoked. It's very long. Um, got this sweet latch right here. Pulls open, uses skateboard bearings. Super long, like I said, really nice. We can have our food in the front, toiletries in the middle, dog stuff in the back. We even have these cool dividers in here that we made. Uh, my wife and I built this floor in the, the bottom of the bed. Uh, it just makes it a little bit easier for this platform to sit on. Uh, also in the winter time, provides some more insulation. There's insulation underneath. Uh, we also, uh, just for precaution, we're gonna get a bigger camper. It's gonna be a little, little heavier. So we've got these Rego fabrication bed stiffeners back here behind our dust seals. Very nice, very well done. I had to drill three holes into the bed over here. Uh, that was a fun project and two below here really easy with two people In the front of the bed. We've got these cubbies uh, Which are really nice if we were to do them again though, we would do an entire Little door that comes off sometimes when we pack in the bed uh, the hinge you know, it's, it becomes difficult to open that covers the back of the truck the bed of the truck and now we'll bring you toward the cab and show you some uh, interior stuff So I'm sure as you noticed, it's dusty. We're camping right now. Uh, we're doing it, we're living it. We've got dogs, two dogs, one who's very fluffy. Uh, and so we decided to get these seat covers from Marathon Seat Covers, uh, custom made. You can choose your own colors, which is really nice. Uh, we went for a maroon and gray, uh, you know, something simple. Uh, also the center console has a cover as well. Uh, and these were a little difficult to install, uh, but they're super easily cleaned. Uh, so we love these. Uh, we also have a switch panel on the center console uh, by our shifter and right there we can power our air compressor, our ditch lights, and our external off-road halogens. For floor mats, you know, WeatherTech, they make awesome product. It's expensive. So I found a slightly less expensive floor mats for our truck uh, by Rough Country and they've been great. show you our dusty engine bay. Working left to right, uh, so we decided to upgrade the battery to Optima, uh, so higher cold cranking amps. I forget the exact number, 750? Could be wrong. Uh, we got our ARB air compressor. Uh, we decided to mount that to the fuse box. It's pretty crowded in the engine bay here and we just found that that was gonna be the best spot for it with the length of wires that we had and everything. I've seen other folks mount it inside uh, and we just went for the simplicity of having it in the engine bay. 
works great. My wife uses it almost every week for work. In the middle, uh, the Pride and Joy Supercharger, uh, made by Stillen. We found this vehicle used uh, in Phoenix uh, two years ago and decided to jump on it. Uh, it's been super fun. We just got it retuned, at just the, the whole vehicle retuned at a uh, Turbo Lab in Salt Lake. They're awesome um, because she was a pig. She was pulling lots of gas, burning lots of gas, and now we're getting like 17 miles per gallon, which is great. Before, uh, I was averaging 14, 15. As far as Supercharger goes, there, there are mixed feelings about Stillen from what I've been reading. I'm still learning a lot about Supercharger, forced induction. Um, but as far as the power, there are more powerful Supercharger kits out on the market. Uh, one that I can recall is Ken Bell. Uh, I think they make a more powerful Supercharger for the Frontier, for the, um, what is it, the VQ40 uh, is the engine we have. Um, but yeah, so far has been fairly uh, maintenance free uh, and we're happy with it. We just have to watch the belt and change that when we need to. Coming over here, uh, we had a cold air intake. That just got really dirty uh, when we would off-road and I would have to clean the cone consistently. It was, it was almost like once a week, once every two weeks. Got sick of that, went back to the stock air box. It does a great job. I mean, Nissan designed it for a reason. Uh, and then we decided to get a snorkel. We needed, so the snorkel is a Dobinson's. Dobinson's. It's a Dobinson snorkel made for the uh, diesel version of this vehicle, the Navaras. Uh, so the only tweak we needed was a, was a three inch to three and a half inch coupler, which you can find on, on Amazon um, to fit with this. I was too scared to cut a hole in my own fender, so we took it to the awesome guys at Red Desert Off-Road in St. George, and they hooked it up for us. Got the ARB bull bar bumper. I just I love the the mean look of this thing uh, also IPF halogens in front they're really nice I noticed uh, when I owned a 4Runner I had all the LED light bars I had like a 30 inch on the bumper and I noticed night driving that my eyes would fatigue uh, after a couple hours not as often uh, as much with the halogens it's a warmer light which is just better for for my eyes I've, I've noticed um, yeah got this used um, Met a dude named Chema. Uh, he drove down from Sacramento, met me halfway. I drove from St. George all the way to Barstow. Uh, and yeah, super nice guy. He's got this wicked frontier with 40s. It's pretty cool. So Arb has this front like radiator skid right here. Uh, and Chama actually drilled holes in it for better cooling, which is really cool. Right here, I installed, I've got another one at home, but I installed one of the Habitat off-road recovery points. Uh, I had to do some grinding uh, on the uh, ARB for make, to make this fit, uh, but well worth it. Uh, once I install the other one, we'll, we'll be equalized. Oh, hi, Bryn. <laughs> Ditch lights. They look like the Baja designs. They're not. They're knockoffs. Uh, Baja designs are quite expensive. These were 45 bucks for the pair, and they've done great so far. These brackets, stainless steel, really nice. Um, Get who made these? I want to say Max Gear uh, makes a lot of aftermarket things for the Xterra uh, and local Utah guy too. Moving over to our snorkel again, we got a pre-filter. Uh, so if it snows, which we drive in snow in the winter quite a bit to get to skiing, uh, we don't have to turn the ram head around. Uh, this is by Snorkel Upgrade, and it's been awesome. Um, keeps the bugs out of it, keeps it cleaner. Uh, our filter is pretty clean. Shoes, we got the uh, Falcon Wild Peak AT3s, a, a popular tire for, uh, for Frontier and Xterra owners and beyond. Uh, we've been very happy with these and we've been able to air these down to 15 PSI. Um, they are the E load, so they are heavier, uh, which probably affects our gas mileage uh, and that peace of mind of not as easily getting a puncture when we're off roading is worth it for us. For rock sliders, these are welded on, DOM. They are bedlined black. We got these in Denver uh, from a company called 
First Choice Fabrication. Really nice guys. I highly recommend them. Uh, and these are, again, peace of mind uh, when we're off-roading or hitting anything. It's actually super nice, too, to like get on top if we're ever putting like a, uh, a top box on our rack here. Uh, yeah, I'm very happy with these. In the rear, I decided to get the All Dogs Off-Road Roverland Leaf Pack, which is 475 pounds of uh, constant weight in the back. Uh, which reminds me, I have to measure them, see how much they've sagged since we bought them. Uh, and those have been great. An upgrade I did to the rear diff is I installed the Arb um, cast iron diff cover. Really happy with this thing. Um, it has a dipstick uh, so you can check your diff fluid levels. Uh, really in, easy to service. That was a really fun project to take the old one off. Uh, for our bike rack, we love mountain biking. We decided to go with Yakima Evo, the Yakima Hold Up Evo. And we have this swing, swing away, which is super nice to get into the, into the back of the truck. Super secure, holds our bikes, just latches on, and then opens up when we want to get into the back. That's been pretty rad. These chairs, so comfy. Made by Front Runner. Very comfy. That's really all I have to say about these. They pack down really great they pack too. Pack down really nicely. Uh, I would not bring them backpacking. Pa <laughs> uh, they are heavy, uh, but for camping out of the truck, perfect. Over here we got the classic Col Coleman two burner stove and this table from REI, which is pretty sweet. It's uh, they're aluminum slats, so they stack onto each other and it packs down and it's about this big. Currently with Kathy and I and the two dogs, we found it most comfortable to sleep in this three-person Sierra Design tent. Um, we get a much better night's sleep than the four of us cramming in the back of the short bed Pro 4X. We are very excited, hopefully sooner rather than later, we'll get our Vagabond Drifter. And that's a, a wedge camper and the four of us will be able to sleep a lot more comfortably in the truck. projects in the future, lots more adventures that we want to document and share with y'all. Um, yeah, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Uh, take a, check out our other videos uh, and we'll see.